Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. I am Pokemaniac Steven, and today is your weekly news recap for everything Pokemon. Now, we've got a whole Snorlax worth of news, so I hope you guys are ready. We're jumping into it, starting off with video game news. We've been waiting, I don't know how long, for a new Pokemon Snap to come out, and it is finally happening. Last year, they kind of teased us with it with like a little bit of a trailer, but last week we got an official like here's what's going on here's the story uh, so excited so what do we know so first it is available to pre-order physical and digital make sure to go do that if you're into that but as far as i know there's no pre-order bonuses you remember back in the day when pokemon used to do that uh i like that's actually like where i got like this lugia and giratina i don't know if you guys can see those i remember when they used to actually give cool pre-order things i wish they would bring that back but it is available to pre-order so make sure to jump onto your favorite retail site to pick those up. The game is not released until April 30th, but that's so close. It's only like a couple months away, I think, three months away. I can't math. So what we know about the game is it does feature over 200 Pokemon. It takes place in the Lentil region. Not like the beans, but Lentil, L-E-N-T-A-L. -E and you're going to be teaming up with Professor Mirror and his assistant, Rita. So it definitely strays from the like typical formula of naming the professor after a tree, but... Hey, it's all good. It looks kind of cool. Uh, this game looks beautiful. The soundtrack on this trailer too, like, uh, gives me a little like little chills, little tingles, and it just looks so cool. Like, and seeing that pincer and the hair cross just duking it out, like, oh, this looks so good. I loved the first game. If you've never played Pokemon Snap, it's basically like kind of like those games, like a first-person shooter almost, uh, where you're on rails, but instead of a gun, you're using a camera. So what you do is you go through these environments on rails and you use your camera, plus you'll unlock tools throughout the game. So you use those tools to make Pokemon do different things. Maybe it'll force them to evolve, fall into something, and then they'll come out as like a Gyarados. That was something kind of fun in the last game, but it doesn't seem like they really strayed too far from that original formula. There's only a few new things it looks like they added. One of those things that they changed is you can actually now choose the gender of your character. In the original game, you played as Todd, and now, you get to actually just choose the gender of your character, which is pretty cool. And speaking of genders, the Pokédex that you use, it looks like it'll actually catalog if you photograph a male or a female Pokémon. In this screenshot, it's actually showing a palm, which really the only difference between the two of them is uh, the size of the hair on the top of their head. I'm a huge fan of this. I love those little, like, nitpicky, geeky things that you can find about Pokémon. So I'm pretty stoked that they actually started to include this as, like, an official thing. And the last addition to the game the big thing seems like it's this Illumina phenomenon. It shows it in the trailer where the, there's this Meganium that pops up behind the main character. And it's all like glowing, it's all like uh, Avatar, like they're on Pandora at night. So it's pretty cool. I, I'm assuming this is going to create some really interesting shots, but we don't really know like a huge amount of what's going on, but that's what we're there to figure out. Hey, do you guys remember that game Pokemon Unite? I haven't talked about it for a while, but we did get some leaks about the roster that's actually on there. So now we know some of the Pokemon that are available to play as. And I think probably part of the biggest part of that leak is we get costumes. So you can actually customize your character when they go into battle. Looks like we have Cinderace wearing a pirate outfit. We've got Machamp ready for a Luau. And then my favorite, Garchomp ready to do some snorkeling, which is really kind of funny because like snorkeling, it's a sh like a shark, the fin on his back. I think it's funny. Moving into our merch news, the Japanese Pokemon Center did release some new little keychains, or charms, if you will, featuring some of the Galarian Pokemon, like Phalanx, Icekew, and Pinkurchin. Now, I bring these things up only because they've brought them to the US side in the past, and I'm kind of hoping that they do it again. I actually have some of the Charmander Evolution line and the Pidgey Evolution line. Uh, these things are kind of cool, so I hope they bring them back. Also, not really merch, but here's a cool photo uh, featuring Red riding Lapras and Ethan riding a Quagsire out in the water. I just thought that was really cool art, so screenshot that. Maybe you want to make that like a wallpaper or something. We've got word that GameStop is going to be releasing some tonal plushies in select stores. So far, we've got photos of Pikachu, Eevee, Magikarp, and Jigglypuff. Each one of these seems to have like a little bit of a tint of one of the colors of the Pokemon, kind of like a color overlay across the plush. So if you're into that, keep an eye out for those in your local GameStops. And the biggest, literally the biggest piece of merch news Gigantamax Pikachu hit the Pokemon Center website. This thing is 31 and a half inches tall. I love that they're doing these things. They, they did it with like the Psyduck, the Mareep, like this Gigantamax Pikachu looks awesome. 
So if you want to get your hands on one of these big old chonky boys, I know everybody's pursuing the cards right now, but this is a different way to get them, I guess. It's gonna cost you about $400, but hey, free shipping. All right, now this is probably the biggest roundup, not physically, but there's a lot of things to cover. Pokemon's 25th anniversary, they went so hard last week with releases and interviews and all sorts of stuff that came out. So, let's start it off with Katy Perry's gonna be making a Pokemon song. Pokemon Company is gonna be coming out with an album. As far as we know, it's called P25 Music Program. Katy Perry's gonna be featured on there with a bunch of other collaborations. Katy Perry, at least at time of filming, is the only one we know about. But I'm actually pretty stoked on these. Uh, if you guys remember or ever ran across, uh, there's uh, the original Pokemon to be a master soundtrack. I love that thing so much. I'm hoping this turns out to be just as good, but I don't know, maybe it's just the nostalgia that hits me on that other one. So Katy Perry actually did an interview with People Magazine saying, quote, I love being a part of anything that is playful and is good storytelling and has really good messages to share with the world. So let me know if you're excited for that. They also released the new 25th anniversary logo. So I'm gonna throw that up on the screen. It's pretty cool. It features the starters from all of the regions so far and they're all kind of huddled around one big feature that that generation introduced. Like first gen, the Kanto starters, they are huddled around the Pokedex because that's where it all started. But then you can see the Johto starters are all huddled around an egg, which is the first generation that eggs were a thing. So pretty cool to see. I love that they put that together. Wish they used it more though. They haven't put it on anything so far, but that leads me into the next piece of news. We'll be getting special booster packs featuring jumbo cards of all of the starters. In each one of those jumbo packs, you'll get three jumbo cards and two regular booster packs. Now, we don't know what those regular booster packs are quite yet, but these sets, I guess we can call them, are gonna cost about $10, so $9.99, and there will be 24 cards total that you can pick up of those jumbo cards, again, featuring all of the starters from the regions. There is gonna be a 25th card. I don't actually know what number it falls in, uh, in the set, but there's a Pikachu one that comes in a binder, and that binder's for your jumbo cards. As far as I know, that's the only way you can get that Pikachu card, and it does have a little uh, 25th anniversary logo down in the corner, so pretty rad. These packs are going to be available on Pokemon Center and also in retail stores, so keep an eye out for them. These things are probably going to be really hit or miss. Uh, people are going to be really either super into them, or maybe not. It's jumbo cards. So, do you collect jumbo cards? They are slated to release starting in March. I'll throw the schedule up. I got all these dates from Pokey Beach. Also cross-referenced it over on Serebii.net. Seems to be the release schedule. We'll be getting one region per month, counting us down all the way to the Kanto region coming out in October. So let me know if you're gonna pick these up. I think they're pretty cool. I'm not like the hugest jumbo card fan, but I think for these I will be. Now for my hardcore collectors, we've got a new skateboard coming out tomorrow actually, so. Hopefully you're not watching this too late, but there's a new 25th anniversary Bear Walker skateboard coming out featuring Pikachu, and it's a little bit more of the newer style Pikachu that they're going towards over the last like year or two. And at the bottom there's a big old Pokeball, but across the whole board, the texture to it, it actually has the imprint of various Pokeballs like the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball. This thing looks pretty sweet. I'm definitely going to be trying to get one of these. We're going to see if it happens. Typically, they run about $250, and I think they actually only produce about $250 of each one. But historically, they will do a whole set. Uh, we were only on the second set uh, that just released not too long ago. And usually, they release about five skateboards in those. So I'm interested with this being one skateboard, if they're just still going to keep it to a small print run, or if they're going to actually like do like 1,000 or you know 1,500 or something like that. But I don't know. We'll have to see on that one. So like I said, they do release tomorrow, January 19th. Good luck to you. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully you get it right there at launch, so keep refreshing. And if you like artwork that I randomly share in these news recaps, here's the official concert artwork. So pretty cool. Make a little like a uh, banner, set that up for your wallpaper. I don't know, have fun with it. We were able to get confirmation through Pokey Beach that the General Mills collaboration is coming. So the, we will be getting our typical three packs that they usually give in the food items. Uh, like with the fruit snacks, the cereals. We'll be getting one pack with three cards in there. One of them will be a holographic card, and the other two will be non-holographic. There should be 14 cards total in the set. As far as we can tell, these will be going into cereal boxes. Now, we did just get some Pokemon cereal the, that was recently released, so I don't know if this is going to be the same type of cereal or if it's going to be a new cereal. Keep our eyes open for that one, but mark your calendars. Supposedly, it's supposed to be dropping February 27th. Now, as time goes on, I'm going to do my best to report on all of these, but we do have future collaborations this year slated to be with Build-A-Bear, 
Levi's, McDonald's, J-Words, Scholastic, Mattel, Funko, Power A, and The Wand Company. I hope your wallets are ready, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a big year. These shelves back here, they're going to get filled up pretty quick. And if you have a shelf or a setup or whatever it is, Pokemon related, your collection, be sure to enter in my Poke Room Tour video series. I'll link that up in the eye and uh, send me send me your photos. Uh, I would love to feature you on the channel, give people ideas of what's even possible. Like if you love using uh, like LED strips like I do, if you have a specific collection like it's Mew, if it's uh, I really want to build a Pidgey collection, I think that'd be really rad. I want to see what you guys are collecting. If you have just a killer set of cards, like a really valuable set of cards, like send me in the photos. I've got instructions on that video. You can either hit me up on Instagram or send me an imager album. Uh, I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for people to submit. I've got a handful of people ready to go for the next video that's going to be coming in February, so make sure to send me your photos. Now, finally, there are some rumors out there about Diamond and Pearl remakes. I don't know about that. We'll see what happens. I mean, if you look at the history, it does. It would make sense that they would make Diamond and Pearl remakes. It's only a matter of time. But for the last, I don't know, two, maybe three years, everyone's been talking about how they're going to make the Diamond and Pearl remakes. This could be the year. I don't know. Um, there is some things being leaked, some things that are supposedly being leaked. Try not to get yourselves too worked up about it. Until it happens, just take everything you hear with a grain of salt. But, I mean, these rumors do look pretty good. Hopefully it happens, but like I said, it's only a matter of time. We've got lots of stuff still going on to collect and play, so make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you guys are excited about with this 25th anniversary. If you're gonna buy that giant Pikachu, let me know. Uh, I, want, I want to know who's buying that thing. And thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate it every single time. If you want to stay up to date on Pokemon news, if you love Pokemon card openings, collectibles, whatever it is Pokemon, make sure to subscribe down below and take care of each other out there. Things are crazy. Things are exciting, though. Take care of each other. And I'm going to see you guys very soon on the next one.